So here we go again. How's this for a system? Look at that. Must have cost a fortune. Doesn't work, however. So let's have a little look and see what we've got for a layout. So we've got returns, look. Married together. Go off around the top of the boiler and into the top of one pipe. Comes down. Right, from there, it goes along there, up there, back up there, up there, and down here. And here we have our flows from the boiler. So no low loss header, just this long pipe, and it doesn't come in at the top. It flows in at the bottom, flows out at the top, and we've got a series of pumps. So water comes out of my boiler. This gets first shot. This gets second shot. This probably doesn't get anything. And if it does, it's probably coming back from here, back into here. And got weather comp controls on the boiler. And no connection for hot water, no signal for hot water. So the weather comp is set on the maximum curve, maximum settings, maximum temperature, set for room temperature of 37. And on the maximum curve, just to try and get enough heat out of the boilers to satisfy this monstrosity. So, low loss header needs to go in. Controls need to change for constant temperature controls because we haven't got a chance of upgrading the system to match a, um, a weather comp layout. layout. So, um, <coughs> so, we need to give it hydraulic separation and also cut the pipe between these two and cap it top and bottom to turn this into a distribution header and a return header. Um, and all should be okay. Boiler's four and a half years old and um, basically PCB's gone. So the beauty of having two boilers, I wanted to confirm it was, so I've taken one PCB out one boiler, put it in the other one, and the one with the PCB that was working in this one is working in that one. So conclusion, faulty PCB. And, uh, Bit of wiring modification to do as well when we change it to constant temperature we'll actually need to provide boiler interlock so we'll be running some wires across to switch the boilers on off at the moment these things just run and have run since they were installed for five years at maximum temperature 24 hours well not 24 hours a day actually but about 12 hours a day oh no 24 because the setback temperature was set to 37 as well so 24 hours a day two 24 kilowatt boilers running full tilt with no control nothing to turn them on and off. Unbelievable.